This is Ray Sakamoto, 2024's Australian Open champion and current world number two on the World Junior Tour. And this is me, currently ranked around 2,000 on the ATP rankings and over three years older than Ray. And when I heard that I got the chance to practice with him, I wondered to myself, who would win if we played a match against each other? Closely followed by, how badly would I get embarrassed? Let's find out. Yes, guys, so let's take a look at what actually happened in the training session with Ray. We were working on a lot of baseline games to begin with. You can see us here going up and down one line. We were essentially playing the point out. I was really just trying to stay nice and solid on my backhand side. He was trying to go forehand into that backhand side. We also did some other drills, hitting crosses, lines. Ray's got a really interesting technique, and it really allows him to produce loads of pop on the ball. So the ball was definitely coming through the court quite a lot. I think it'll be interesting to see how he does on the clay court, because obviously he's producing loads and loads of spin. We then worked on some volley. We were pretty much building up to playing some points as we both had some tournaments coming up So I was super excited to kind of see where I would stack up against a player of his caliber We then jumped into some kind of points based stuff where it's just out of the hand feed in Ray's got to approach to one certain side that I know and then it's my job to try and win the point Either with a passing shot with a lob as you saw and of course we both did it and it got pretty competitive But now let's see what actually happened when we played some proper points. We were playing best of three sets, tie breaks to 10. I was definitely trying to get this first one under my belt. Ray, Ray's hitting the lines. He's literally painting the corners. So I had to make sure I was being super consistent and making sure that I'm not giving him any free points. There's no room for error against these guys. And the main thing is that I don't want to get strung out and just be running all the time. I need to be the one being aggressive. Yes, guys, so I'm joined by Ray Sakamoto. He won Australian Open Juniors this year. Pretty big achievement. So I'm going to be asking him a few questions. Do you have like a go-to cheat meal that you have that's like your favorite? Like what's your favorite like meal to have? Sushi. Sushi. I love sushi. I know. Japanese, yeah. I, I would have guessed that answer as well, but yeah. for me, it's also my favorite. So 4-2 here on race serve. I'm already down. I'm down a little bit of a break, but I managed to regain that break and go 5-4 up here. It's all about the hustle. And I told myself that Getting this first one on the ball would take a lot of pressure away because I'd kind of know I can enjoy a little bit more knowing that I've got one under the belt. You can see me here trying to switch line as much as possible with the backhand, him taking that angle nice and early to be aggressive. I was just trying to play a little dink slice game. Who's gonna kind of bite it first? I managed to switch up the line with some great depth, forcing the error and going 7-5 up here with a healthy lead that's building with a 8-5 and I get my first match point to take the first tie break. When you won the Australian Open Juniors, your celebration was pretty epic. Mm -hmm. Did you have that pre-planned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one year ago. Really? Maybe, maybe yeah. yeah. All right, tie break number two. I'm starting off on the serve. This is to close it out. If I win this tie break, I win the session, basically. But obviously, you know, Ray had some other, some other plans. Even though I was playing some good tennis, shots like that just meant that I literally stood no chance and I had to put the ball exactly where I wanted it to go. But I think in this tie break, Ray began to up his level a little bit and I began to get a little bit more eager to try and win the points, but also played some good level myself. With a 6-4 lead here, this was a huge chance to go up and I managed to put that forehand cross and get myself a pretty healthy lead here. If you could teach me something that I can say on the tennis court in Japanese, can you like teach me a phrase or a word or something that I can use? When you want to say, let's go, ikuzo. Ikuzo. Ikuzo, yeah. Ikuzo. All right, you're going to hear me saying that if I go to Japan. And after that call at 7-4, which actually looked kind of out on the camera, I didn't realize in the moment. Ray's coming forward to the net here. I'm just making him play, don't make him do enough. And it gets back to 7 all. This is crunch time for the second set. I get two match points here at 9-7. These are my two opportunities to take this match. And I just put that forehand long was the right idea, trying to phase up on it. And here with a serve and volley again, just hit the top of the net tape, which is brutal. And another short drop shot. And Ray suddenly has stolen the set. Also, guys, less than 50% of you that watched last week's video are actually subscribed. So if you haven't already, go down there, smash that subscribe button. And now let's get back to the video. What are your, like, goals for this year? Do you have any goals that you want to achieve? I want to get matured more mm -hmm. as a man. Do you have any, like, rankings goals? I want to get some points to get enough to play challenges. 
So in this third tie break, it's the decider. A little bit frustrated of that previous tie break, having had two match points and losing four points in a row. A little bit of lapse of concentration, which happens sometimes. Now I needed to regain my focus, try and really strive to play as best as possible in this set. Ray was really beginning to feel his groove, move the ball around really nicely, get me on the run. And I think that now it was going to be all about the quality of my returns, but also how well I can stay out of trouble and defend and phase up to attack. some good serving again coming to a similar situation to that second set a 7-4 lead array with some really solid shots putting me under a lot of pressure here and that forehand just traveling long yeah. and, and what would you say your tennis dream would be do you have one like in your head like a player to play or a court to play on or a tournament i want to be like kenny scory have a legacy like that because he in japan he's obviously huge like i think pe people underestimate how big of a player mm. he really is so here it is, the clutch moments, 7-5, Ray on serve. I've got one point mini break. Now it's going to be about who's going to be able to hold their nerves. And Ray looking super solid from the baseline, which was almost putting me under pressure. I really wanted to try and be aggressive. And that backhand just traveling along and Ray going 8-7 up, huge ace. What can he do on his match point? A slightly lenient call. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments down below. Thank you for the session and Thanks we'll so probably much. play again Thanks tomorrow. So also, go follow Ray on Instagram. I'll leave his Instagram on the screen right now. And we're going to set like a goal for how many likes the video needs to get for us to play practice set. Mm, 10k. 10k likes? Yeah. Okay, 10k likes. You, you heard it first. Ray said let's hit 10k and uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Also guys, I mentioned in last week's video that one person that left a comment was going to receive one of these end quote Felix Mishka t-shirts which are now sold out, you can't buy them anymore. This is a person that's won the t-shirt, um, if you just send us your Instagram account then we can get in contact and we can send you the t-shirt. If you comment on this video I'm going to give you the same opportunity, all you have to do is like, be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment. There's literally one or two that I actually have left to give out so make sure that you go down there, leave a comment and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.